Welcome everyone. This is Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com with a Funny Friday card and this one is called Happy Birthday using the Art Impressions Frog Stamps and these are absolutely hilarious. I love the frogs on the bottom that are having a party along with the balloons and cake and party favors. And this will be perfect for my birthday card that I'm creating. So I'm using my Misty. I have my stamp here and I'm using Simon Says Stamp, Intense Black Ink, and 80 pound Nina White cardstock. So once I have that stamp well inked, I'll shut the door, use my sleeve to kind of move around it, and then I have a great impression. For my coloring, I'll be using some Copic markers, and I do have all those colors in the description box below if you want to use them for reference. I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. I like to mark up on my paper what colors I have of the greens. I don't have a lot of Copic markers, but I do like to use them, especially for images like this. So I'm starting off with one of the lightest colors of green that I have. I'll be using four greens in total. This first one that I'm using is YG03. Then I'll be using YG23, YG25, and then finally G94 for the darker areas. I really don't have a rhyme or reason when I'm doing my coloring. I, all I know is I want to put the color down and get the darker colors towards those outside edges. Sometimes I'll start with a darker color and then move to the lighter colors, and then sometimes it's the other way around where I'll start light and move dark. So at this point, I have a really dark green, and I'm really going in to darken in some of those shadowed areas. Once I have this color down, I can move to a little bit lighter color and then start blending that out to get less lines and to get a nice mix of color. And then finally, I can go back in with the lightest color and start really blending that in and adding a little bit more intense color to some of those other areas. Next, I'm starting with some light pink and I'll start adding some color to the areas that I do want pink. And my objective here is to create a girl card even though it has frogs because Melody is an outside girl. So I'm just doing some of those lighter areas first. I'll go back in with a little bit darker pink once I have all of these areas filled in. I'm only using two pink colors for this, and at this point I'm starting to add some shading down around the sides of the cake frosting and some of those party favors. These two colors are R81 and R83. So once I felt I had my shading done, I'll go back in with BG000 to start some of that cake. And this is a really light color, so I'm going to go ahead and cover the whole thing, and then I can go back in with BG01, and then finally BG15 for some of the shading. I'm going to pull up some of this color into the confetti so that it has a really nice, well-rounded scheme of color. And I'm going with the darkest first, there we go, and now I'm adding in some of that light color around. There's only one lit candle on this image, and for that I'm using Y13 with a little bit of YRO2, just for a little bit of orange, and then going back in with that Y13 to blend that out. Next, I'm using a Blender Zero, and I'm just adding some dots to the frogs and also that balloon, and just around to make it a little bit more imperfect. And finally, the last colors I'm using are the toner colors, and these are grays, and I'm using T0, T1 and T3, and I'm just adding shading to the white areas and also the candles on the cake. They're great colors to also add around your image once you're done, but I'll be cutting this out completely. That's why I didn't worry about having those marks on my card. So I've used my scissors and I've cut this out and I've left a little bit of a border all around the frogs to create one big piece to add to my card. I'll be starting on the base of my card and I've used stick it paper on a piece of white cardstock. Stick it paper is double sided adhesive so it's perfect for this. Then I cut my quarter inch pieces of cardstock and I put them down onto the cardstock made sure that I press those down really well. Once I had that ready I trimmed that piece down to about an inch and a half and then I'm using a four and a half inch circle die centering that onto that strip and once I have that in place I can tape it down and run it through my die cut machine. I cut two additional discs of the four and a half inch circle die, and that is a Simon Says Stamp nested die. I've also trimmed off about a half an inch off the bottom, and I've also scored with my scoring tool about a half an inch from the top. Before I start gluing everything together, I want to make sure that I bend down from that score line so that it will have a nice crease in it. And then I'll use the Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue just above that crease line and put the other disc on top. Now I have a complete circle. At this point, I am adding glue to the back of that colorful strip paper. 
And just as a reference of where the top of this card is, I have tacked my card onto my grid paper so I know where top and bottom, and now I can line up my strip accordingly. So once I have that glued in place, I can flip this open. I have that flat edge in the back, and my card will sit upright on its own. I've stamped my greeting onto a half inch strip of cardstock, and I'm using that die right now along with my disc to make sure I know where to die cut it. And to adhere this, I'm adding a little bit of foam tape to the back. And once I peel off the adhesive, I can place my strip right edge to edge. I'm also using my grid mat to help me line that up. So I'm using that heavy line to make sure that everything lines up well. I'll be mounting my frog images onto the card. And to make this a little bit more fun, I'm using an action wobble spring. And I want you to notice that it has a little bit of a tilt to it. So I'm going to make sure that I line this up to where I want that tilt to be. So it's a little bit taller at the bottom than it is the top. So you're just going to peel off that adhesive. I'll place this right in the center of my disc. Make sure I press that down. And then I can peel off the rest of the adhesive. And then place my cutout image right in the middle. And now my card's complete with a little bit of interaction with those funny frogs. Here's a close-up of my frogs. I didn't do a really huge amount of detail on these. I just made sure that I colored them and gave them a little bit of shading. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on using the Frogs by Art Impressions, along with an action wobble spring for a little bit more fun and play. And as always, thanks so much for watching.